Time is money. This is true because time is our only irreplaceable asset. Not money, but time. Because money can be replaced, time cannot be replaced. Have you ever felt that there just seems like there aren't enough hours in a day for you to get everything that you need done? Have you ever wondered how some people seem like to have 48 hours in their day? Have you ever thought of how you can add more hours to your day so that way you can get more things done? Whether it's to spend more time with your family and loved ones, spend time on your passions or even finding your passions, or maybe even starting a side hustle. Well, it's simple. You're just not being efficient with your time. Well, in this video, I will share with you the one strategy that billionaires like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos utilize, which allowed me to start a side hustle eight years ago while working two jobs. And it is also how today I work less hours as an eight figure earner than those earning $50,000 a year. You see, eight years ago, I owned a restaurant and I was working 120 hours every single week. In fact, sometimes I would work a 46 hour shift before I went home and went to sleep. You can say that I was the hardest working man in the room, but I was always frustrated because I could never get ahead. I could never get everything that I needed done. There always seemed to be something outstanding. There always seemed to be fires that I needed to put out. Yet others who had similar businesses were working half the time and getting double the output. And that's when I realized that I was doing something wrong and something needed to change. So I started analyzing my day and what I was doing every single day. And I came to realize that I was spending a lot of my time on things that I number one, did not enjoy. And number two, I could actually delegate out to my team. However, I was just too impatient to wait for them to do it. So I would go and take over and start doing the thing. And although I was getting things done faster, however, I was not spending my time efficiently. I was not being an owner. I was not spending my time on the things that really moved the needle the farthest. I was not focusing on the 20% of things that actually got me 80% of the result. In fact, I was doing it kind of the other way around. Until one day, I came across this author by the name of Gino Wickman. You see, Gino Wickman is the author of EOS, the Entrepreneurial Operating System. And his system pretty much helps entrepreneurs to become more efficient in their businesses and actually scale their businesses with less time. And although EOS is amazing, but the concept of delegate and elevate was the thing that truly made a big difference on my life. You see, under this concept, Gino talks about how the first thing you wanna start with is by making a list of all the things that you are doing every single day. So what I started doing is that throughout my day, at least two to three times, I would pause and think back to the last two to three hours and write down all the tasks that I did, regardless how small or how big. If that was wiping down a counter or telling someone to do something, creating a schedule or speaking with a customer. And I went on to doing this for about two to four weeks. Then at the end of it, Gino talks about how you want to put all the tasks that you are doing in four buckets. The first bucket is I love it and I'm great at it. These are the things that you enjoy doing and you are really good at. For example, making the videos just like this one. I really enjoy creating content and delivering videos just like these for you. And I do believe that I'm very good at it. Or maybe I'm just delusional. I don't know. The second bucket is I like it and I'm good at it. These are things that you don't love, but you like and you're still good at. So for example, it would be editing this video. I like it, I don't love it, and I'm pretty good at it. The third bucket is I don't like it, but I'm good at it. These are things that you don't necessarily enjoy doing, but you are pretty good at. So for example, it's creating thumbnails for these videos. I don't like it, but I'm pretty good at it. And the fourth and final bucket is I don't like it and I'm not good at it. And those could be things that you number one, really do not like. And number two, you're really just not good at. For example, for me, it's anything that has to do with accounting. It's anything that has to do with tracking. It's anything that has to do with researching and analyzing. I just really do not enjoy that kind of stuff. So once you've gone on for about a week or two and created the list of things that you do on a daily basis, you want to take that and you want to start distributing against those four buckets. And you want to be very honest with yourself. Do you understand? This is the thing that's going to free you. So you really don't want to cut corners or try to lie to yourself. So the things that are in the top two buckets, which is I love it. I'm good at it. I like it. I'm good at it. These are the things that you should be spending all of your time doing. Everything in the bottom two buckets of I don't like it and I'm not good at it 
or I don't like it and I'm good at it. These are the things that you want to delegate to other people. Now, you might be saying, Bashar, this sounds great. You've got a business and you have 30 people working for you. It's very easy for you to do. And if you have a team, you can do the same. But if you don't have a team or maybe you're even working a job, I still have a solution for you because this is how I did it when I did not have anyone. You see, you can go to websites like Fiverr or Upwork and you can actually find people for two to five dollars per an hour who can take all kinds of things off your plate and who are actually a lot better at a lot of things than you are. And you see, the thing that I realized is that the tasks that are in the bottom two buckets, usually not only are you not good at or you don't enjoy doing, but they drain your energy. They take a lot of time simply because you're not enjoying them and you seem to always find distractions, always procrastinate, therefore making your entire day a lot longer and a lot more tiresome, which actually cannibalizes your efforts to spending time on the things that you truly enjoy and are good at. Now, if you're gonna delegate anything to anyone, the thing that you have to always think about, especially if you're delegating to your team, is that you ask them if they're actually going to enjoy doing the thing because the one thing you do not want to do is you don't want to delegate something from your bottom two quadrants to someone else that's going to go in their bottom two quadrants because over time, they're also going to burn out and they're going to end up in the same seat where you're in right now. Now, if you have a job and maybe your job does not allow you to outsource certain tasks to other people, then maybe you should consider a career change. But that's a topic for a completely different day. So now we figured out all the tasks that we are doing. We have put them in different buckets, and we have also delegated the things that we don't want to do or are not good at. Now, the other thing that you want to look at is how many hours per week do you actually want to spend working? For example, that's 60 hours per week. Well, now you want to look at the top two quadrants and ask yourself, how many hours per week do these things take me? And what Gino says is that you always want to be at 90% capacity. Meaning if you want to work 60 hours per week, then the tasks in the top two quadrants should only take you about 54 to 55 hours per week. And you always want to keep about a 10% capacity in case you pick up new things in the future. But if you are at 100 or maybe even 120% capacity, then you want to look at the tasks that are left in the top two quadrants and start asking yourself, which one of those can I actually delegate so I can go back to 90% capacity? You see, I try to do this exercise at least once or twice a year. I have taken my leadership team through it and every single manager and director in our company has gone through it as well. Because what I want is I want to be spending time on the things that I truly love and enjoy simply because these are the things that give me joy, give me fulfillment, and give me energy. And most importantly, I am more efficient doing these things because I now understand that it is not about working hard all the time, but also working smart. And when you combine the two, you'll have a formula that is just not replaceable. You see, I believe that everyone's goal in life should not be to not work, but it should be to not have to work, but work because your work truly fulfills you and brings you joy. Now, if you found this video valuable, then you will definitely find this other video I dropped last week about the easiest way to start a side hustle with zero dollars. So be sure to go check it out and I will see you there.